Hey, welcome to Outlaw Games. I'm Anthony. And I'm Francis. And today we're going to play Funko Verse. Yes. <laughs> what is that? That's <laughs> that's a Funko Verse. Okay. <laughs> it's a fun it's very funky. It is funky. Alright, so this is a uh, Funko Verse. Um, a game designed by Prospero Hall for Funko Games. Mm -hmm. um, you might recall these little people from your I don't know what from your store Funko you collection at from your Funko collection um, and these are kind of smaller versions of those Funkos and they are these going to Funko be pops versing each other versing see what they did there I did <laughs> <laughs> um, in this strategy game so mm -hmm. um, we are going to be playing we have two sets that we're going to be using to play we'll get into those um, in a little bit but this is a two to four player game that um, is really just like grid movement. We have some action point stuff we're going to be doing. And uh, I think that about sums it up. It's so. dudes, dudes and girls on a board. It's, it's dudes basically. and ladies on a map, basically. Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> so, join us after the break and we'll show you how it plays. All right, welcome back. Welcome to... Where, yeah, where are we exactly? <laughs> we are, what is the name of this board? Rose and Blanche's Florida Estate. Floridian, Floridian <laughs> Estate. They're Floridian one story. It's a paradise, <laughs> yes. It, it is. is it's paradise. like in one of those 55 plus communities in Florida, I think. It is, I think so. And unfortunately, Catwoman and Robin somehow have managed to invade their house. I don't they know have. They have. They were looking for somebody in here, perhaps, or they had broken in. Or... Maybe they were, they were tipped off. Maybe. That there was some jewels being heisted. Maybe. And they're somewhere like in this house. That. I like that. And what we've got to do is we've got to go in there and stake our claim on these areas and control <laughs> the living room. I don't know if we want Catwoman doing that. The patio, that. <laughs> yeah. She could go around and start marking territory. Uh, but you know what? Let's jump to the table yeah, so you can kind of see what we're talking about okay. here. So we are in this Floridian estate. Yes, we are. This ranch. Yes. Um, and as we said, you know, I'm going to be playing Robin... And the Catwoman. Right. And they kind of just broke into this bathroom, and they're going to start over here. <laughs> okay. Just Perfect. at the worst time, because... Yes, because Rose Nyland and Blanche, Blanche Devereaux, Devereaux are on their way back from, I don't know, apparently a, a bake -off. bakery, because a, they have a, a cheesecake that's missing, uh, missing a slice of cheesecake. Yeah. So. <laughs> so they're about to come in, and we are playing a scenario called Control. Yes. So explain exactly. what Control is. Sure. So what we're going to be doing in this scenario is trying to stake our claim to certain areas of the board. So we have some imaginary locations here, and really they're going to be the four grid spaces on the very, in this case, top and bottom, mm -hmm. maybe left and right if you're playing across from each other. The four spaces in the middle and then the four spaces here on the side or on the top. Right. And what we're going to be doing is using these control markers, which are over here right now. Right here. Um, you'll see that throughout this game, the pieces are going to be either a light color or a dark color. And we use those bases on purpose so that you guys can see kind of what we're doing. I'm going to be the light color, you're going to be the dark color. Yep. When we uh, happen to be in this space, we can use one of our actions, of which we have several, to place a control token here. And then what we'll be doing is kind of vying back and forth, trying to flip each other's control tokens um, so that we get points. Yep. Uh, so what we're going to do, how we're going to get points in this particular scenario mm -hmm. is by having the majority of the control tokens flipped uh, at the end of the round and also by knocking each knocking other each out. Knocking each other out, yep. So that's going to be, it's really kind of the crux of this. And interacting game. with these yep. letters. And then interacting with these letters. So these uh, letters have points on the other side. These are temporary points. So if we're adjacent to these and we end up claiming them, they're going to go over here onto our cooldown track mm -hmm. and they're going to stay there with us for four rounds four rounds and four turns hopefully really. yeah. yeah four turns so hopefully they uh they make it they you know they don't fall off before mm -hmm. we're, we're we win the game we're gonna play till only six points yeah which so doesn't quick. sound like a lot but um it but really it is really, it's really quick is. it was quick enough quick. yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. All right, so before we jump and start playing, uh, the basic turn structure is mm -hmm. we're going to alternate turns. Uh, one of us will go, then the other person will go, the other one I'll go, mm -hmm. then you'll go, and then it ends the round. And mm -hmm. then we will refresh our cooldowns by one step, right. and then we'll jump in the next one. We'll switch player uh, player order again. Like yeah. every round, the, the player start player token is going to be switching back and forth. Right. You're going to start off uh, yeah. as first player, and then we'll, just, we'll change after every round. Mm -hmm. um, but... 
we should tell people a little bit about what we actually Absolutely. can do on our, our turns, characters. Right? Yes. Yeah. So the really neat thing about this this game is that it comes with these character sets. So mm -hmm. we happen to have we used the we chose to use these two character sets. Yep. Uh, you can play with just one. So if you just wanted to play with the Golden Girls, they actually come with their own basic characters that you could play this way with you know, two basic characters on yeah. either side. And same with the Catwoman and Robin. And I yeah. think we're using, we're, we're actually using these as like little cheat cards for the the, for the basic actions, but... But these are the basic yeah. so character with, cards. So with Blanche, her her generic basic character is called the Gentleman Caller. Yes. Of course. And, who, and uh, Rose has... And Rose uh, has the lifeguard. The lifeguard, yes. yeah. And they're just so. tokens and they represent other characters right um but they only they don't get any special abilities they just right. get to use the basic moves every character gets to use the basic moves mm -hmm. the, the special characters we're playing with also get additional uh, more powerful moves that will explain right. how that works in a second yes um so let me just go through my okay. um people and then you can talk about yours yeah, and then we'll absolutely. jump right in right so uh on your turn you, you get basically you get to do two actions and it could be any one of these basic actions move up to mm -hmm. two spaces and you can do that twice um, so you can move up to total four. You can do a challenge, which is if you're next to somebody, you can fight them. Uh, you can assist. It's standing up an ally. Uh, interact would be interacting with these things on mm -hmm. the board. And then rally would be just standing yourself up. But that costs two actions. So right. that's the only thing you get to do on your turn. And those two actions are used up very quickly. Yes. And then you're done. Like it, <laughs> right. It's so fast, right? Yeah. But in addition to those basic actions, uh, every character that we're playing with has special abilities. They have a passive and they also have um, ha what like special moves that they can do. So for Catwoman, she starts with an item, and this is optional. You don't have to do that. But mm -hmm. I started her with the whip, right. and what the whip does is during a basic challenge, which normally has to be adjacent to an enemy, um, uh, it actually gives it a range of two, two squares away. Um, it makes it a level two challenge. Right, that because she's able like ranged a little bit. Yeah. And if I if I win that challenge, I may move the target one square. Mm -hmm. It doesn't say which direction, so probably yeah. any direction, because she's like whipping them and, and controlling them. So that's right. hers. Um, her passive is basically when she shifts off the cooldown track, meaning if she gets knocked out, they go to cooldown and then they come back on. When she comes back onto the board, she can go in any square that's not visible to an enemy, right. as long as it's not the starter zone. Um, she has an ability called Second Chances, where she does a basic challenge, and if I lose, I do a basic challenge to the second, the same target. So she actually gets right. two shots, right? She does a cartwheel, allows her to move four spaces. Uh, even the odds, she does a basic challenge, take an item card. I can steal an item from a yes. target and, and put it on your cooldown. Right. Basically, I could take that pie away. Yeah, so you don't get <laughs> to put use it on it. my cooldown. Yeah, I mean, which you can explain what that pie does in a sec. Yeah. Uh, with Robin, again, he's got the same. He's got three special moves. Um, he's got a setup attack, challenge two. Robin's partner may do a basic move. So basically, Robin will actually attack, and then his partner, who in this game obviously is a Catwoman, who if I assign it to, she gets to do a basic move. So mm -hmm. she actually, he gets to attack and she gets to move, which yeah. is huge. Um, which is what Robin's all about. He's all about manipulating Supporting, his partner. Yeah. So he does a coordinated strike, challenge of two, which just means he rolls two dice. Um, Robin's partner may do a challenge of two as well. Right. So the two of them get to do an attack at the same time, and they provide backup. If Robin can see his partner, if he has line of sight, and his partner is within four squares, place Robin adjacent to his partner. So there's a lot you can do, mm -hmm. but the problem is these will cost these tokens. Right. So these are all limited, and um, and you'll you may or may not be able to actually see that we have different we actually. Act the, excuse me. We have a different pool of tokens, but mm -hmm. we also have different types. So I don't have any of those blue no, tokens, which are really kind of more like range or getting you around the board kind of dexterity or agility, I think. Mm -hmm. um, but I do have these like little charmers, <laughs> these little red ones. Yeah. And I've got the the uh, the yellow token too, uh, which in her case is friendship. So I'll go through mine real quick and then explain how those yeah, tokens yeah, go work. Ahead. So, um, so my Blanche Devereaux, she can flirt. Uh, so this is a challenge two, um, meaning she'll roll two dice, and then she can take one unspent ability token from my opponent and place it on the two of their cooldown tracks. Right. So it's very similar to, to your thing there. Yep. Um, and then Southern Hospitality, so I can move each rival Blanche can see up to two squares towards Blanche. Oh. So she's like Southern Hospitality. She brings she's them like, in. She's like, oh, hello, dude. <laughs> um, and then she's got High Boys. Um, which moves up to four squares towards a rival that Blanche can see. Okay. So she kind of goes out and, and finds And struts that. her stuff. Yes. Uh, her passive is that she's devastatingly beautiful, Ooh, right? Of course, course she is. Um, so while Blanche is standing, adjacent rivals roll one fewer die when challenging. Ah, so she's yeah. a little bit tougher. Um, and then Rose, she's got um, 
a uh, one called Life Isn't Fair, Kiddo. So it's a challenge four. So she's very strong, mm. obviously. Um, if you win, you can move the target one square. So kind of similar to what you're doing. Uh, place an ally Rose can see in a square adjacent to Rose. And mm. then she says, thank you for being a friend. Now she has a friendship status card here uh, that she can give to an ally uh, within three squares that she can see. So uh, Blanche is her only, only mm -hmm. ally, so she's within a couple squares of her. What the friendship status does is after a challenge against this character is resolved, Rose can do a basic action. Um, discard the status of the character or Rose is knocked out. Um, now my uh, Blanche also has an item, mm -hmm. so she has a cheesecake. Oh yeah! <laughs> so the cheesecake can actually be used uh, to to um, stand her up if she's knocked down, and we'll explain how that works as we start to play. Mm -hmm. So these tokens, the way they work, because you might be thinking to yourself, "Wow, those are like very powerful," um, and they are, and that's kind of what makes this fun. Yep. Um, but you have to be very cautious about how you're using these actions yeah. and what basic actions you're using, because you're going to spend these to your cooldown track. So based on the power of the action, so the flirt action, for example, is power of two. So after she takes that action, this is gonna go on the two of the cooldown track and it has to stay there turn after turn until it comes back out and can be used again. These pool, This pool um, of icons can be used for any of, mm -hmm. our, of our heroes or our, our characters. As long as it matches the color. As long as it matches the color of the action that we wanna take. Yep. So that pretty much wraps up, I think, I the think so. rules overview. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're going to be shooting for six points, as we said. Right. Uh, and I think it's just going to be a bloodbath in here. In the <laughs> in Floridian Ranch Estate. It's good all this stuff's like stuck to the it cardboard. It is. <laughs> so uh, I think with that, let's get started. Okay. All right. You ready? Yep. You're player one. All right. Ding dong. I don't know how they'd be ringing the yeah, bell. No, now. they're probably <laughs> unlocking the door and they realize that there they're are like, intruders. Ah! All right. Oh no, they're oh, home no. with cheesecake. With cheesecake. <laughs> <laughs> Must get cheesecake. All right, so for my first action, I'm going to move Blanche, and she's going to do her um, hi, boys. Well, oh, you're going to activate a move already. I'm activating a move already. Okay. So this is going to go the two on my cooldown track because it's a power two. Mm -hmm. And she's going to move up to four spaces towards a rival she can see. She's opening the door and she's like, one, two, three, four. What are you one, doing in my house? In my house. Get out of my cheesecake. Get out of my house. <laughs> All right. And then for my second action, mm -hmm. um, I'm going to use the interact, which in this scenario means I'm going to put a control token down because I'm within one of these yeah. squares. Yeah. Okay. So, I will so do that. there you go. Thank and that goes you. Wait side up. Yep. And it can go anywhere I want, actually. All right. Right there. All right. So that was your turn. Yep. So now you put the, oh, we have the exhausted tokens. We'll have to grab those in a second. Okay. Um, yeah. After you play a character, you. Grab the, uh, you put the right. exhausted tokens. Go ahead and get them so on. Okay. I figure out what I'm doing here. So uh, I can activate either Catwoman or Robin. And what I think I'll probably do, thank you, mm -hmm. is activate Catwoman. Oh, and I'm okay. going to go, I'm going to use her ability called Cartwheel. Okay. Which allows her to move four spaces, similar to what, what uh, Rue McClanahan just did. <laughs> One, two, but I'm only going to move three spaces. I'm going to go here. Here. So we'll talk just a really quickly about movement in this yes. game is that you can move diagonally. Yes. So you can move orthogonally and, and, or, di or diagonally. And diagonally fine. counts as distance yep. as well. So it there's does. not just orthogonal in this game. So she did her cartwheel. So she cartwheeled out of the bathroom and said, okay. <laughs> and now for my second action, I'm going to do a basic attack. And my basic challenge is a range of two because she can whip you. Right. Right. So she gets a, with her whip, it's a challenge of two. Mm -hmm. So I have to use two dice. Except to roll. for you're going to roll one less because while Blanche is standing, adjacent, adjacent rivals. rivals. Oh. I'm not adjacent. Oh, so I've bigger. I've negated her beauty. Okay. And you have a defense of what? Yeah, I have a defense of two. So right. on each of our cards, it has a different defense as yep. well. Um, so in this game, it's really just who wins. That's There's no pretty much hit all points. Games, like. No, but it's not about like. <laughs> You do the X much stuff, damage, yeah. and you need to take three damage to go down. No, if you it's lose, yeah. versus it's attack versus defense. So <laughs> I just rolled two shields, which is that's terrible nothing. because that's a complete miss. Well, you didn't even really do anything, so I don't even have to really roll. You wouldn't have so, to defend yeah. roll. And when you're defending, it's every shield blocks a hit. Yes. And that's it. But if there's more hits than shields, you get knocked down. Yep. So she, she didn't hurt you. Her turn's over. So I will exhaust Catwoman. Oh, right. Sounds good. Um, let's see. This friendship actually starts down here because she can't, she has to give that away. She has to assign it. Oh, mm -hmm. she has to say thank you for being a friend. Thank you for being a friend. Let's see. I'd really like to 
move her all right maybe i'll do this so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm just gonna take a basic action mm -hmm. with rose and she's gonna go one two and then i'm gonna do an interact for my second action okay and take this point and put it up there in the all right so that's your temporary point mm -hmm. all right i'm gonna go with Robin, so she's exhausted now, mm -hmm. and go one, two, three, four, and stop there. So okay. that's two actions, right? Yep. So that ends, that, literally that ends the round. Yes. <laughs> so at the end of the round, we swap player, uh -huh. um, and everything slides down one Yep. on this track. Yep. And I'm player one now. Yes. And so you, technically, I could go Robin again. So right, but first we have to we have to do some points. We have to unequip that. So um, oh, in yeah, this yeah. scenario, Sorry. we're this doing scenario. control. So uh, the way that we're going to get points is obviously knocking out rivals, uh, but also if you have the most control markers of your color at the end of the round, mm -hmm. um, we're going to get points for that. Now, normally, if you were playing with basic characters, not with two of these characters, if you're playing with the basic characters. You would, um, you'd actually get a point if you had any of your control markers showing your color, and then you'd get an extra point for majority. Mm -hmm. But because we're playing with four right. pretty strong characters, we're just going to get the point for majority. Yep. I have majority, so I'm going to get a so point. So you take a so point. So I take a point. Yep. All right. Um, Unexhausted everybody. Yep. Moved everything down, so we're ready to go, right? Yep. So, so you're going to start again. I will. Yep. I will. So I'm going to go one, mm -hmm. two and then control right there. Mm. So that's her two actions. Okay. I see, I see. Hmm. I think I'll do Hmm. You can't really move very far in this. Just game. two spaces. <laughs> it's just two spaces. Yep. Okay, I'm just gonna take a. Um. Maybe I'll do Southern Hospitality. Mm -hmm. So I'll move each rival Blanche can see up to two squares towards Blanche. Okay. Right? So that's a two, so I'll go there. So she has line of sight here and line of sight here. Mm -hmm. So she'll move her one, two, mm -hmm. right? And move Robin mm, towards her. Mm -hmm. One, two, I guess. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so they're like... Like all what? up in her face. I know, like really up in her face. <clears throat> okay. Um, and then I will challenge Catwoman. Okay. So she gets one defense die and you yes. get two she attack? She gets two to attack. All yep. right. Just like a basic attack. Basic attack. Basic attack with cheesecake. One hit. One hit. One defense. So ah, okay. nobody gets hurt. Yeah. Uh, so Robin was able to, de to defend that. So now, does Robin... No, that was... Catwoman. Okay, well, I'm sorry. So now, does Robin retaliate? Probably. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Um, do yes. Do? Robin is going to do a coordinated strike. Ooh, okay. And now, challenge two, and then Robin's partner may do a challenge two. <gasps> oh, my goodness. But okay. they're adjacent. But they're all going to do one, because they're all adjacent to me. So they're each going to get an attack. Yes. So Robin gets the first attack. Mm -hmm. And he misses. Okay. So you don't have to roll. So Catwoman gets an attack and she hits for Ooh, three. Oh, she hits for three. That's not That's good. the exclamation point. I can't. Point. Yeah, I can't. You even... can defend if you hit the three. The three counts as. Nope. <laughs> Two um, fails. The three exclamation points on attack count as three yeah. hits. On defense, it counts as three, three shields. Defense, yeah. Yep. So you Otherwise could have actually blocked there. that. So she got beat. Uh -huh. So she gets laid down. She gets knocked down. So this is how this works. She doesn't get completely knocked out. Right. She's knocked down down correct um if she were to get hit again she would be knocked out knocked out she is knocked down so technically i could use my cheesecake not yet right what can you use, it, it, can use it when she's knocked down while knocked down oh yeah do you want to use it 
It would go um, on your cooldown track. No, I think I have to do that as an action, though. Because there's a number on it. It does. We, we'll check that. Yeah. Um, they, like, yours is, um, is like, you don't have to use it. Mine's a passive. I don't have yeah. to actually use it. It's just there. So I have to decide now what I want to do. Because that was Robin's first move. Oh, that's right. Yeah. So Robin can now take another hit Blanche out so do I want to do that do I want to spend my token yeah I do so Robin's going to do a uh, setup attack right for two challenge two Robin's partner may do a basic move so he gets to do a challenge one again to you okay no she he does a two oh Unless, because oh, she's while not she's standing. standing. Yeah. Oh, now she doesn't look so beautiful. I does know, she? she doesn't. She's not standing. <laughs> <laughs> two hits. No! Okay. You have two defense. I know. How's she going to defend from the floor? I don't know, with that pie. On that pie, with that pie in her hand. Pie face, let's see. Oh, wow. Wow, that's a six, super that's defense. A six, six defense. So she blocks. She threw that pie right in his face, I think. She blocks it, and he is done. So now Rose can come in and. Save the day, I guess. She could. Um, oh, she should have given her card. Thank you for being a friend card. Well, yeah. I mean, that costs an action, though, right? Hmm? That costs you an action to give that away. It does, yes. Hmm. Ooh, yeah, I wish she could go a little, just a little bit further. Oh. She can't. What's up? Uh, I forgot to do, when I did set up attack, so after Robin does his challenge, his partner can do a basic move. So I oh, can actually okay. move her yeah, somewhere else. two spaces away. Okay. Hmm. One, two. Mm. Hmm. So what you gonna do, Rose? I like how he knocked her down on the couch. She's like, oh. I know, she did feel down right on the couch. That's so funny. Oh my. <laughs> oh my, this is fine. Oh no. Okay, I guess she's just gonna move. I don't know. Um, yeah, one, two, three, four. All right. Well, maybe she'll just move two. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then, um, she'll give this friendship card to Blanche Devereaux. Thank you for being a friend. So what does that do? Two. The friendship card says after a challenge against this character is resolved, Rose may do a basic action. Oh, so Rose can actually Yes. So help. like if yeah, exactly. If you were to knock her out or something, mm -hmm. then she could actually take another. Oh, that's action, pretty cool. So pretty All good. right. So uh, let's score it, right? Yep. So no points. We each have a control point, yes, so nobody so gets no, anything. No. Uh, these all roll down one, so whatever's on the one falls off. Mm -hmm. We get Very refreshed. Good. And we are ready for the next round. And yes. you are actually player one this I am, round, so yes. you get to go again. Okay. All right, so. All right, so for my first action. Oh, <laughs> I hate doing this, but. All right, so I'm gonna use Blanche, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna spend her cheesecake. Mm. So she's been knocked out on this couch. She's just like, I'm just gonna eat this whole cheesecake. Uh, look <laughs> and stand it, it, herself up. All that up. sugar. All that sugar just got her to stand right up. Okay. So, um, so she's gonna stand up, and this cheesecake item is gonna go on the three. So that's gonna come down, just like, mm -hmm. no, like all the other abilities will. So she still has one action, I think. Um, what does she want to do? See, moving towards rivals isn't great right now because she's like right next to everybody. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll challenge Robin. Okay. 
Well, let's see. She's sitting here. Actually, maybe she'll move. Well, she can't move and... and she can only do one more action, yeah. Yeah. All right. She'll challenge Robin. Okay. So Robin has a defense of two. Let's see what you got. Two shields. Two shields. Right. Doesn't matter <laughs> what I roll. Yeah, the thing is, you can't They're attack. They're weak. She's so weak. You can't attack back on a defense, which no. is what's very no. different about this game and, and a lot of other games, actually. This, where does this one go? Oh, in this corner? Yeah, I was just seeing where mm -hmm. that one went. Yeah. Um, so that was it for Blanche, right? Mm hmm Interesting. So, hmm. She probably should have moved instead. Well, probably right. Yeah. So what I'll do is I'm going to do a setup attack. She's gonna. You're gonna set up an attack with Robin. Okay. Right. So that goes on the two. And the setup attack is a challenge two, which I only get to do okay. one. Yep. To Blanche. So he rolls nothing. So he didn't have to defend. So he completely missed. But the setup attack is Robin's partner may do a basic move. So I'm gonna go one, two. With Catwoman. Okay. And that's his first action. Mm -hmm. His second action is going to be to flip this. Ah, oh, you booger. Yeah. Okay. So Robin's done. Mm hmm. Oh, okay. But I can use this friendship. After a challenge against this character is resolved, which it was, mm -hmm. uh, Rose can do a basic action. So I'm going to do that. Okay. And before you moved Catwoman, right? Now that you know I'm going to move Catwoman there. Well, no, I was going to move her here. Okay. That's just what I was going to do. That's fair. Then I'll move Catwoman okay. here. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. Hmm. Discard the status if this character if or she's Rose character, is knocked yeah, out. Yeah, she's right. knocked out. Um. Oh man, that's tough. You got those things. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a booger. Um, all right. Well, I guess I'll put out another uh, control token. Out for yeah. Your, for your I'll first put action, out over right? Here. Okay. And your second action? For my first action. Um I'd like to move back there, but I can't. Um Okay, I'll just move back here. One, two. Wow, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you're done. I'm done. Okay, I'm going to move Catwoman here. And then she's going to basic attack Rose for... For two. Two. Yeah. All right, ready? Because mm -hmm. she's using her whip. Right. Three hits. Ah. Three, Three defense. defense. All right, she blocks it. Very good. Um, so after lovely. and then, if Rose is standing after a basic challenge against her is resolved, Rose may do a basic challenge. Right, but she can't. But she's not. She's, she's not adjacent. Not adjacent to me. She's not adjacent to anybody. No. <laughs> but she could. It's important to note that she could. Yeah, like she if Robin could. were here, she could actually fight him. Well, it's she's because so she's up. Saint Olaf's favorite daughter. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but she is. All right, so let's score it up. All right, I you get, get the point. The point this round for having two control zones. <sighs> All right. <sighs> so everything's going to slide down. Mm -hmm. All right, I am starting player this round. You are. Go. And we are ready to start this up again. Okay. All right, so let's come out of the gate here and see if we can get some stuff done. Um... All right, I'm going to do second chances. Okay. So I'm going to do a basic attack on Rose. Okay. If I lose, I can do it again. Okay. So she gets two shots at knocking you down. And this is one Wait. action. Rose? Her. Okay. That's Rose. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, not Blanche. All right. That's a miss. That's All right, a miss. so I get to She's go again. Me. One hit. Okay. That's the worst rolls ever. Wow, defense. it's like super, super defense. defense. So that was a waste of a whole action. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna do it again. Okay. But I'm gonna do a regular attack this time. You're gonna do a regular attack. No, okay. I'm gonna flip this token. Never mind. Okay. She's done. As your action. I think it's my best bet. That's probably your best. Yeah. Okay. 
So, so it's your turn. She's done. They have the worst rolls. I know. It's terrible, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm. Um, I'm going to use Rose. Oops. Is that what I'm going to do? And I'm going to go one, two, and interact with this token. Okay. That's it. That's it? Mm-hmm. All right, so Robin's going to go here mm -hmm. for one. What you doing? <laughs> <laughs> and then he's going to hit Rose with a standard challenge, too. Okay. Three hits. Three hits? No, no defense. defense. All right, so she gets knocked so down. So Rose is on the ground. Mm-hmm. Boom. No points for that. It's just on the ground. Yes. All right, so that is Robin's turn. Okay. Um, hmm. Wow, this is crappy. I'm going to do, uh, I need like three moves. I think we all do. Yeah. <laughs> it's never enough time. It's never moves. enough time I to know. do any of this stuff. Oh, uh, no. Um, okay, so I'm going to go, maybe I'll do move four squares. With the high boys? towards an opponent she can see hmm. can she well, she can she could see me yeah but what about over your control token though uh, yeah i don't think those are gonna block anything i don't think those those don't block One, line of sight two, three four i'm gonna do that one two three four mm -hmm. and then she's gonna do flip this token okay how did you section. put that on her? Oh, I don't know. I have no idea. Okay. That's it. So that's it. Um, you get another point. I get another point for that round. All right. Yep. Uh, these are going to slide off. This slides down. Now, one. this actually slides off. Yeah, so that you lost off. that bonus. I lost it. Okay. And that's it, that's it right? Uh, mm -hmm. You are player one now. Yep. So you actually get to go again. Mm hmm. So what are you going to do? Um. Ugh, she's going to just stand up. I don't like that. You know? Yeah, that's her whole turn. It's like, can I just give that cheesecake to someone else? <laughs> that cheesecake is still cooling <laughs> off. Yeah, that sucks. All right. I, well, I guess I better stand her up, so. Use yeah, her so whole action to two, stand her Yeah, up. two actions yeah. to do that. It stinks. She's it like, ooh, I'm so dazed. Yeah. Confused, confused right now. So you can go. All right. So then I will go one to flip that control token mm -hmm. and two to do a cartwheel. Okay. And she gets to go one, two, three, four. Okay. Spaces. Hmm. And that's Catwoman. Man, you keep flipping all those tokens. I need to maintain control here because I can't beat these two down. They're so tough. So you're tough. Mm -hmm. Actually, I haven't been fighting you. So. No, you haven't. <laughs> you know. 
She's like just stood up, so she can't do anything. Nope. She's done. She's done. Okay. Interesting. Now it's Robin's turn. Mm -hmm. Wow. Why'd you go in there like that? Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's almost like she's asking for trouble. She is asking for trouble. <laughs> she really is. So I'm going to move. So. What? All right. So I'm going to do a challenge on Rose with, okay. with Robin. Okay. He's going to do coordinated strike. Oh, okay. Which means that he's going to do a challenge too, but he only gets to do one because he's next to. Yes. Because while Blanche is standing, Jason Revels roll one for your die when challenging. Mm -hmm. Period. Yeah, when it doesn't say. No, because yeah. I'm just, I'm distracted by her beauty. <laughs> so, uh, one hit. Wonder. Yeah. One hit wonder. One, one defense. defense. All right. So you block that, but Catwoman is going to get an attack now. And she's not adjacent because she's two squares away. Right. And her basic attack has the range. Okay. So she hits for no hits. <laughs> Like, I can roll defense all day. Yeah, these are the Ridiculous. worst attack dice ever. Um, okay. So that's total waste of his... That was his one action? That was his second chance, wasn't it? That was his no. coordinated strike. Coordinated strike. That was one action, mm -hmm. right? So I will... Hmm. I guess I'll move him one... Right there. That's where I'll put him. All right. All right. So he's done. You're done. All right. That's it. Uh, you I get, get the point. Another point. point. You're just collecting. Right, we're halfway points. there. These slide down. He's I'm player one. I have a cheesecake. Yeah. Again. See, your cheesecake's back in business. Yes. I get to do player one actions, so I will do one, two, three. Take that. Okay. That's my two actions. Um, I will do... And I have no abilities left, which is terrible. One, two, three. Oh. Interesting. One... And one. <laughs> so ridiculous. I know. You know what? No, I'm going to... I'm just thinking if I want to leave it the way it was. Mm -hmm. No, I'll leave it up. Yeah? Mm. No, I'm going to leave it down. I'm going to attack you. Okay. I'll leave it up in a fight. The reason being is that you're going to get it regardless. Mm -hmm. So I might as well go ahead and just try to knock you down first. Okay. Because if I can do that, at least I have, I can have you unconscious for a round, okay. right? Uh, two hits. Oh, uh, you so knocked he down. knocked her down, so she's out. No, she can't even move now. No, so her turn's done unless well, she's well. She has to stand up. Yeah. Hang on. She's not standing. <laughs> Darn it. Um. All right. So. I really wish I could give her the cheesecake. <laughs> they can't both eat the cheesecake. Now she was in this corner. No, she wasn't. She was in this corner. That's why I put her head. It's easier to track where her head is. When Why'd she's you move? Down. You moved her? I, you moved her? I put her so her oh, head was her on head the space. Down. Oh, okay. It's just because that's the only spot right, that really right. touches. Okay. All right. So that's it. We're done. Yep. My so turn. you actually get the, um, the I get point the point this round. Yeah. All right. These come off finally. Boom, boom, boom. All right, so okay. it is up to you now. Take it away. All right. So let's recap. I've got f three plus one, four points right now. And I have two plus one, three points right okay. now. Okay. Um, all right. I am going to do this 
Life isn't fair, kiddo. Challenge attack. So you're using Rose Nyland. Rose Nyland. And she's going to attack Robin mm. for four. For four. Challenge four. Man, that's rough. All right, let's see what you got. Wow. So many hits. That's seven hits. There's no way I could block it. So, wow, that was three blocks. That was a good defense. So, yeah, Robin is down. He's down. Boom. All right, that was your first. Um, now, she, uh, if you win, you may move the target one space. Mm -hmm. and move him one space. <laughs> I'll move him like... Here. Okay. Or maybe up here. Just get him out of the way. All right. So she like slapped him like, away. Get out of my way. That's her one action. That was one action. Um. And Rose cannot see her friend right there. That mm. sucks. I think I'm just going to move her here. Hmm. Wait. Yes, I'm just going to move her <laughs> Okay. <laughs> That's it. She's done. Okay. I like their little fists. Like. I know. So I'm going to do a cartwheel. Okay. And that'll go one, two, three, four. Okay. And then she's going to... Flip this. Mm. So Is she's that it? done. Yeah, that was Catwoman. Okay. Hmm. So she's just gonna move one and then flip this. Okay. And then Robin's just gonna get up. There's oh, nothing else okay. he can do. Yeah. All oh, right. that's right. Yeah, he was knocked down. All right. Um, so I get the point. Yep. You get first player. I do. We are on to the next. All right, so what can I do here? I think there's only. Oh, wait, a... all this stuff comes down. Yeah. You did you get look... your stuff? I did, of course. Oh, okay. This actually goes back. So I'm going to go one, two, and I'm going to attack Rose. Oh, okay. With second chance. So she's going to get two shots at her to okay. knock her down. First shot is three. Wow. Nope. Boom. No so she's down. Boom. So no. So Catwoman's done. She moved and she attacked. Okay. All oh, right. Yeah. If you only if you lose, you get to do it again. Yep. Okay. Wow. You knocked her down. Mm hmm Why do you keep knocking her down? Because she keeps getting up. Catwoman's done. Mm-hmm. So, very sneaky mm. of you. Mm -hmm. All right, so Blanche is going to go one, two. I don't think she can go there. 
Come on. Yes, she can. This is blocked. No, it's that not. corner's blocked. Yeah. It's blocked from line of sight, but it's not blocked from Are you sure? movement. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. It just seems that they drew the wall over oh. the line, which is how I've been treating it, because it's not to the corner. Like, that's Fine. not adjacent to that. If that's how you've been playing it. Yeah, I, I think it's intentional. I know it blocks line of sight. I didn't think it blocked it. That's okay. Um, cause that means she's just kind of stuck here. Mm hmm Um... All right, so she'll just move one then and attack Catwoman. Okay. And but she's gonna attack her with flirt. Challenge two. Challenge two. Yeah. How, but you said you're gonna flirt. That it's yeah. not an attack, is it? It's challenge. oh, it is an attack. Yeah. That's why I'm like, that's weird. Cause yeah, it's an attack. Challenge two. Flirt doesn't um, sound like an attack. I know. <laughs> well, cause she's like, she's gonna flirt with her, yeah. and then she's gonna take one unspent ability token. Oh, she's gonna steal to my ability to. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Oh, Nothing. And she missed. Wow, that was a bad flirt. But she still gets to take the un unspent ability token, right? Challenge two: take one unspent ability token from your opponent and place it on a two of their track. Yeah, I guess so, right? Mm-hmm. That's a shame. It should only be successful. Should be able yeah. to do that. But then that's like pretty much a basic. Yeah, like. true. All right, so Robin's gonna hit. Rose <laughs> while she's down. While she's down. <laughs> yeah, sorry to be that guy, but he's got to do it. One hit. One hit. Yeah, finally. Uh, all right, so, so you get that she gets knocked out all the way. Yep, she's on that. I um, get a token for knocking her off the board. Yes. One, two, three, four. Now, um, the friendship goes away actually. Yeah, so it has to be reapplied. <laughs> They're no longer friends. They're no longer friends because <laughs> like, Rose. Well, thanks for being a friend. did not come to her aid. Mm -mm. So she's uh, like, "Thanks, right. but no thanks, yeah, Blanche." So right. she's done. She doesn't get anything. So Robin's gonna move one, two more spaces, and his turn's over. Okay, so I'm gonna get the point. You do. The point. The point. Get the point. You get the point. Why'd you block her in that room? Because I need her in there <laughs> for one more Why? round. Why? Your turn. Okay. All right, so let's collect our tokens. Okay. And collect my... my. She comes Devereux. back, yeah, in the yeah. starting area. Or my Rose Nyland. <laughs> my Rose Devereux. Rose Devereux. <laughs> All right, so you lead us off. I can't believe you locked me in that room like that. <laughs> like standing in the doorway. I know. She's like, hello, but I have pie. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, keep it in the kitchen. Food stays in the kitchen. I know. All right. Well, you leave me no choice. I'm going to go one, two, three. No. Oh, I can't do that. Well, I can here because I can start from here, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. One, two, three. So can't do can't get to me on one move, yeah. She doesn't have anywhere to go. Well, maybe I'll do this. Oh, I can't. I don't have my... Why am I missing a... Oh, I'm not missing it, am I? You it's only get one. There. Oh. Yeah. You really got me in this. Well, I guess I'll just fight you. Fight your way out. Fight. 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 All right, I'll fight Catwoman. Mm-hmm. Since I'm here. Why not? Three wow, hits. it's a three hit. That's a, you knocked her down. Boom. I did. 
I'm gonna fight her again. Are you? Yep. That's so rude. Maybe I should fight Robin. You could do that too. Mm. No, I think I'd rather fight Catwoman. Okay. One, One hit. hit. One defense. <gasps> Woo! She's still safe. For now. <sighs> Alright, so that's Blanche is over? Yeah. All right, so Robin's going to pick up Catwoman for one. How? Because you use the assist, a stand-up oh, and adjacent ally. Oh, I completely ally. forgot about that. Why didn't you tell me that when I was laid down? Because you just kept eating cake. Yeah, but you should have told me. Well, because you have to be adjacent, oh. and you were nowhere near them when they were down. I forgot you can do that. Yes, and his second move is going to be to flip that to black. Okay. So that's Robin. All right. Hmm. Rose is like only good if she can see her person. <laughs> see her friend. Yeah. Yeah. She has to be in, in you know, line of sight. She misses her. Well, I might as well just give up now because she can't do anything, so it doesn't even matter. All she can do is move, right? Yeah, she just moves, so it's like pointless. Um, I guess she'll just go here, one, two, three, and stop. Because mm -hmm. that was two move actions. Yep. Yeah. Your turn. That's it, I'm done. No, you're not. Oh, you're Catwoman, Catwoman goes. Oh, snap. <sighs> so I can go... One, I'm gonna do a sprint or a cartwheel to go one, two, three, four, and then take this gem okay. into there. All right, that's it, you that's win, it. yay! So I got one for the thing. And now here's the timing, right? So what? does this fall off now? It doesn't matter because you have six anyway. I know, but if I didn't get this one up here. I don't think it does. So I think we, you score before these before. fall, right? Yeah. We evaluate before yeah. we do the, the, the rest. Okay. Yep. So close. All right. You had five, right? No. Only four. Uh, you, you, the thing fell off here. Yeah. Rolled off. Okay. Cool. Okay. All right. Let's cool. go talk about it. All right. All right. There you go. So I guess they <laughs> discovered the stolen jewels. They found the stolen jewels. And they locked Blanche in the room with the cheesecake. We held her in the in the kitchen until with the, cake. the cops got there. Yeah, no yes. leaving this kitchen. You're detained. <laughs> Rose came running back in to try to break it up, yeah. but it just wasn't in time. It wasn't enough. No, wasn't we, enough. we we were we were found found our culprit. So, yeah. all right, all right. Well, let's talk about it. Yeah. So, where do you want to begin? I don't know. I guess we can talk about replayability. Well, like yeah, always, we'll go through right? our normal we'll go through thing. Our right? normal thing. So. Um, I mean, obviously there's a ton of replayability here mm -hmm. if you have all the sets, right? So we have, yeah. I'll start with, um, we have the four um, pack of the Harry Potter characters. Mm -hmm. um, and those characters, we, we were kind of going back and forth, what set should we play with? Those um, characters are more ranged attack, like line of sight, all that kind of thing, which yeah. is pretty cool, but um, we thought this would be kind of fun to mix it up. Uh, but that's that's the replayability, though, I think, is that you can kind of vary the experience based on the characters It's, that it's, you it's have. all in the characters, uh, yeah. There's four scenarios that you can play, so you can vary the play a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, but if you, you know, really what's going to bring in a lot of the, the kind of, uh, in my opinion, like the fun of putting these teams together mm -hmm. is bringing in, like, you know, mixing it up and have it like you don't even have to have both of the these characters together. You can right. have like Catwoman and you know Rose. We could yeah, we could have you know swapped the teams yeah. so they were half and half. Exactly. But what you want to be cautious about is what um, what actions you're going to get on your specials. Yeah. Because you want to make sure that your your pool of tokens gives you enough that you can kind of um, you'll always have enough to do mm -hmm. on your card what what it says you can do. But you know it was nice that they have like a synergy kind of, mm -hmm. the Golden Girls, and so do uh, Catwoman and Robin in they that do. set. So that synergy allows you to use that pool of tokens more widely as you need to Correct. on your turn. So, Correct. Um, so that's the only thing you want to be cautious about. But as far as replayability goes, I think it, I mean, it comes out really quick. The scenarios are very easy to learn. Mm -hmm. They're exactly the same for each They kit. are. Yeah, so there's no difference. There's there. no difference in the scenarios at all. 
from uh, kit to kit. Uh -huh. The only difference is the characters that you're playing with. Correct. And that's where the variability the maps. comes in. And the maps, the maps too. Yeah, yes, they're all exactly. very unique and very different. And they're double-sided, too. Yeah. So for this scenario, we use this house. Um, <laughs> Their house, But yeah. there's actually, for there's, like, there's like a capture the flag scenario and stuff. You actually use the other side, which I think is like the Florida boardwalk. It's the boardwalk, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, but you have like uh, in the, in the uh, Catwoman Robin set, you have Arkham, like mm -hmm. the Arkham... City, like yeah. City lay well, it's not the city. It's not like Arkham the, Horror. It's not Arkham. <laughs> 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 you have like a the layer. You know what I mean? And, okay. Um. Anyway. Yeah. Actually, so. I didn't look at that board. Um, yeah. And Harry Potter, I think it's like kind of like you're in the school. Like yeah. One of them are, yeah. yeah. So, again, there's a lot of that. And, right. But again, as you said, the, the replayability is in the characters. It's in, in the variability of the uh, character actions and mm -hmm. skills and all that stuff, right? Um, but you're not going to find that variability in the scenarios because no. it's just control, right. capture the flag, knock uh, down, like straight take up, out, leader, straight, yeah, death yeah. match, if you will. Yeah. It, it's stuff like that where. They're, I wouldn't really call them, I guess they are just scenarios, right? They're not right. anything, they're, they're not like campaign driven scenarios. There's no mm -hmm. story behind them. You have to kind of make that up on your own. It's just a set um, of rules for how you're moving it. and getting points. Yeah, and those core rules about basic actions and how you take them, line of sight, that is the same no matter which board or which character set you play with. Yeah. It's it's in the uniqueness in their abilities that's going to change. So I think that's where you're going to find a replayability if they keep expanding this and, and creating new characters. I think Rick and Morty just is coming out, or it's yeah. it's, it's out already. It just came out, so it's like another set you can look right. into uh, into getting. Um, I, I haven't heard anything about this the other two Golden Girls, but I'm assuming <laughs> I'm assuming they're on the way. You need a full set for that. Right. Yeah. Uh, it'd be cool to see like maybe Gilligan's Island or Scooby Doo cool. or yeah, you know like there's just okay. so many different like yeah. Cringy old TV that Dukes there of is, Hazard would be cool. Yeah, like, that would be neat. Any of that old stuff would Knight be neat. Rider. Knight Rider. Night Rider. But I mean, you wouldn't want to put Kit out here, right? You could. But you could put a big There's nothing wrong with putting the Hoff car. on the board, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I guess from a from a weight perspective, right? What do you think? Um, it's pretty light, uh, but it's a different kind of um, it's a different kind of weight. I think than what we normal. This is first of all, this is a different kind of game structure mm -hmm. than what we normally play on the channel. Yeah. Because it's very take that. It's very like reminds me a lot of like sort of like a game of chess mm -hmm. in a way because you're kind of strategically only you're very restricted in your movement. You have to play kind of a long game, um, and there's just a lot of kind of back and forth push and pull tug of war yeah. type stuff. It's like checkers yeah. or chess. Yeah. Right. Exactly. But that being said, I think it's definitely um, it opens it up to a lot of different folks like i know we played this with the kids mm -hmm. uh and they really enjoy it because the rules are easy enough to mm -hmm. pick up um but again you have to understand that strategy and if you don't then you're gonna get you're gonna get beat yeah every time. pretty quick <laughs> so, so yeah it, i don't know what you think it's, it's light because, i think it's it's, light, it's yeah. intentionally light because if you're if you're offering this game to funko pop collectors right who don't really play board games you're not going to want to put a board game in front of them that's overly complex to play yeah. and learn so uh i think it's about the right weight it's it's mm -hmm. light mm -hmm. it, the rules are easy yeah yeah so it's pretty basic yeah um i mean the even co-op is what is we already talked about it it's what it is right i mean right the the pops themselves are your theme like right. it's this is all the theme robin and catwoman versus the golden girls I, like, <laughs> I don't think you could ask for more than that from theme perspective yeah so that's pretty cool all right um fun factor um, I had fun. I okay. will I will say this much. It took me like a little while to like have fun yes. with this because when we first got it, we played it. Um, like I said, we played it with the kids. We kind of like we obviously like we played it with each other. There was one rule that um, when we first started, when I first started pulling this out and like we were trying to play it, mm. I was resetting everybody back to the start every single. The time. way the wording is <laughs> because in the, the wording rules, in the yeah. rule book is like it, it, just the way that it's worded makes it sound like you refresh your character back to the control or to the starting, starting area, area. Um, but what they mean is they come off your board if they're knocked out they go yes. to your the, starting the way area. it's so, written is very it just it's very weird sounding it almost yeah. sounds like every round put your characters back right. reset them back to the starting so zone playing, I'm, just like, I'm it, like we're not doing that's anything she first Let's taught me on. how to play yeah. and i'm like there's no way we're making one move and then it's resetting weird. back to the start. I'm yeah. like, how are you supposed to play control? You only right. get two moves. Right. Um, but when you read, and I read through it like three yeah. times, and it's still, I'm it like, it like sounds it like that's what we're supposed to do. But again, I read it, and I was like, okay, I don't know why it's written that way. But if you're watching this video, you won't have that it's problem. Very, it's very, okay. yeah, the wording on it's terrible. <laughs> yeah. So, but, yeah, um, but that. yeah, but it, the thing is, again, because it's not, it's not our style, it took me a while to kind of, 
appreciate just like to kind of relax and yeah. enjoy the sit back you're gonna get beat you might win roll some dice you know and it definitely hits that spot when i'm in that kind of when mood. you're in that mood yeah. um, but i did have to get in that mood yeah. in order to play it and kind of like have fun with it yes just for my you know just because of the kind of games this is yeah because like, it's so. not what we normally gravitate towards yeah. and uh, i would agree and I, I think look i think as far as the game itself goes and if you're into this like miniatures game uh -huh. you'll love it oh absolutely. because the minis are yeah. really cool uh, especially if you're into the funko pop they kind are, of yeah. characters are awesome looking right. i think they're great i think the character design the cooldown track all that stuff is just awesome yeah what i do not like about this game we don't really talk about don't like so i uh -huh. think we should start doing that because it's just it is what it is right? right yeah so what i do not like about this game is that the scenarios are too cookie cutter like mm -hmm. i don't like playing computer games where it's capture the flag right um, <laughs> or uh, area control not for the most part right um, you see some of that in, in like uh, battlefield games and it's fun doing control points like that right. stuff because it's like a, you're in the middle of a war and there's a lot going uh -huh. on and it's hard to hold a control point point. and this you're, you're quite simply moving over to a space and, and, and flipping, it. flipping it over and then moving back and, and then, then somebody the else is going to move in and flip it back like yeah. that type of tug of war game I don't like right so for me that's where this loses me where I would really like to see this type of game go, or mm -hmm. even this specific game go, yeah. for me to really like it, is for them to put a story driven scenario that here. Would be cool. Hey, there's yeah. pie in this back room. Right. You got to get over there and take it. Right. The golden girl's got to keep you out of it. Right. Something. Almost like multiple a, yeah, objectives. Yeah, like even if there was like, yeah, like you said, multiple objectives, sort of like a pick up and delivery Whatever, kind of thing. Yeah. With, I mean, with, even with like the, the combat in the game is fun right it is but it's like send me some like give me a point to go to that's not just back and forth yes that's kind of more like you said story driven or because you have so much theme objective here. driven here's yeah. the thing you have so much theme here and it's so cool like we like making up the story as we go mm -hmm. like oh no like rose fell on the couch like you know yeah because I mean? it's cool and it make like the components are really nice and like obviously the funkos and stuff are fun to play with um, which it almost like begs for more of a story to kind of get them into. And maybe it's like my like inner like little yeah. girl that wants to like make up the story as I go. <laughs> but, yep. but it would be cool if that was already like part of the game. I, yeah, I, I need that in yeah. this game. Without that, this is not something I'll play. Yeah. It's just the reality, I'll be honest with you. Just because I don't like playing games for the sake of just fighting. Mm -hmm. And the fighting is the best part of this game. Yeah. And for me, I need more than that. Right. In a game. Well, you saw that I was like even reluctant. Like, obviously, we're reluctant to like do the yeah. fighting if it's not required. But, um, but it is like again, it's kind of like okay, well, she's going up here and she's gonna do her challenge, but mm -hmm. it's just like oh, I rolled the wrong defense. Yeah. You know I mean? So it's like yeah, mm. it's like like the, it just kind of falls like the uh, abilities you know? are so cool. I know the cooldown yeah. is so cool. Yeah. That the that all of that is so great. The art's awesome. The boards yeah. are sick. But why not give me a little bit more? Right theme and, and more immersion in what i'm creating here like yeah. give me a, a golden girl story right you've got like <laughs> eight like seasons of shows to draw on <laughs> you know is it like yeah right anything like that yeah. would draw me into this game and i'd be like man i'm sold right but without that it's just a it's just a dudes on a board roll yeah. the dice and knock each other out and and going back to our kind of original point about audience and, and kind of who is this for, yeah. I think that um, it is, it really probably hit the target demographic, not the target demographic, but like, because right. like the, but what they were going for kind of with the folks who really like Funko Pops. Mm -hmm. And this is, you know, it's Funko Verse. It's the strategy game. Like the yes. box even says the strategy game so that you know it's a game with the Funkos in it. Yes. Um, not so much like a strategy game. The Funko that, Adventure game. The, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's which not would that. be kind of cool. So, which I'd rather. Which, and here's the thing. I know that, um, I think this is like, this is Funko's first kind of foray into mm -hmm. board gaming, which is exciting. And it's definitely like a, um, a really cool experience mm -hmm. for kind of a first game. I hope that they continue yeah. to do more. And, um, and I hope they take the feedback and everything and, um, and, you know, maybe even make something a little bit 
They can make um, adventure packs. Adve- yeah, exactly. you know, or, or campaign packs. Which I think packs. you could add you could to this board. You could easily make an yeah. expansion onto this right. and have special unique item tokens that you put out there. Call us. We'll help yeah. you. <laughs> put something together because that's what this, yes, for me, yeah. personally, right. that's what this is missing. It's almost like it would be cool if they did if they were stealing jewels. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. And it's like they have to keep hiding them. Like, so she could go and, like, pick them up from, like, wherever they are and, like, take them with her. You yeah. know what I mean? Move them. So <laughs> and move the and, like, and she can't get knocked down or, like, they take yeah. the they take them from her or whatever. Or, so yeah, as the Golden cool. Girls, you put a bunch of them face down and, and we got to go in and figure out which ones they are. Right, In yeah. a certain time limit before you guys get them out. You know, like, yeah. you could really, really knock this out of I the know. park. Theme-wise, and it, it yeah. just, that's where, I, that's where this falls short for me. Mm. Everything else is outstanding. Yes. So we'll leave it at that. Yeah. All, All right. right. So, <laughs> hope you enjoyed the playthrough. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. See ya.